All right guys, so we changed our plans. Um, we were gonna go fish Ice House like we said, but there was already a car there in like the only parking spot. So we are fishing Pilgrim Lake. It's a, a pretty big lake, a lot bigger than the one we were fishing this morning. It's got an island in the middle, which is pretty dope. Um, get on each side, get, on, uh, get out of the wind. Um, there is definitely some deeper parts in this lake towards that, that, are, that the other side. Um, Carson's going out right now. About to hop on mine. Um, it's a lot hotter than it was this morning, definitely. Uh, might be throwing top water, we'll see. Back to the fluke, probably. It might be deep, we, I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Um, get my yak in the water. The water is freezing. Surprisingly though, um, it is a lot warmer here than it normally is. So these lily pads and everything is sprouting out, sprouting out a lot earlier than uh, normal. But um, I'm gonna put the uh, GoPro on and we're gonna get to work on this lake. Um, it's a pretty big lake, so we got we got a lot of lot of water to cover. It's hot too, so so with that, uh, let's get to work. See if we can get some cut some largies. Let's go. That's a fish, dude. I literally just cast. Oh shit, dude, that's a pretty good fish. I want to break my line. I'm having trouble cranking on this guy. I literally just dropped my bait down. I was messing with this pickerel. It's a giant pickerel. Absolute monster pickerel. Oh my god, it's flipping me around the boat here, bruh. Decent sized pickerel. That's a giant. This thing is super aggressive. Oh, I wish I could get some underwater pictures of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Not my PB pickerel, but is a giant. For sure. This thing. Oh my god, guys. I'm having trouble. That weird angle on this thing. Holy moly! Check this out, guys. This is actually my PB. Actually my PB. This thing is thick. Cars, check how thick this is. Holy shit! Oh my gosh. This thing is so slimy, as I said, as y'all saw um, this morning. The teeth on these things will cut your fingers right off. I swear. Guys, whoa, whoa, he almost got me. All right, I'm gonna lay him down real fast. I'm gonna have to let him go. Check this out. Giant pickerel. Absolute toad. I'm a fish, check those teeth out. Uh, I'm gonna get a quick picture on my phone and we're gonna release this guy. All right. Guys, look how thick this fish is. All right, see if we can get a nice release here. Whoa, that thing got some power. There she goes. That's definitely a, definitely a female. It's probably filled with eggs. Great way to start this fish. Great while I start this uh, uh, trip up here. That had me, that was big enough for me to think that that was my PB bass. Um, that, that, that is my PB pickerel for sure. I mean, that, you saw how thick that was. I had two hands around that thing. 
trying to grasp that. And that was on the uh, <clears throat> watermelon red fluke with a purple weight. Just use a purple weight just to get it down. I'm um, really lazy with uh, waiting for these these kind of soft plastic baits to fall to the fall to the floor. So just put a weight to make it faster. Great fish! Oh my gosh! All right, let's see if we can, see if we can get some more here. I'm way off, way off target. I was way up there. Fish, fish dragged me way out here. Wow! All right. Good start. We got those guys going the other direction. Hey guys, I forgot to say, we got a lot of guys out here. There's literally three guys out on the yak right now, one guy on the beach. So this um, lake is starting to get some pressure. Um, definitely we forced them to go that way, which is good because the prime spot is literally right here. We fish this, fish this pond so much and we know, we know where the bass are at. So good thing we're, we're keeping them over there. Um, hopefully keep them away from our fish here. All right, guys, this wind's messed with me way too much. Can't even get a full cast out. We're gonna see if we can get some cover behind this island. We're gonna start out here. I need that anchor. Hit me up, hit me up with that anchor. Thank you. This is the key to catching fish right here. That's a big fish. Ooh, that's a bass. Dragon, it's pretty small actually. Yank. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, I just put that anchor up. The anchor caught this fish. That's what I say about that. Because I've been in these weeds the whole time I've been here. Because of this wind. Finally get set up where I want to be. And look at that, like second cast. Pretty good hook set too, right on the side of the mouth here. Guys, check out all these fish are nice, nice dark colors. Um, just, they all look super healthy. Telling you, we got that anchor set right there. Um, able to actually, you know, work these baits. I'm not dealing about the wind. I'm um, just staying put here. Actually, be able to work these, work these baits. Like I said, you know, letting them get to the proper depth um, where these fish are at. Yeah, that's a good fish, dude. Crank down on him. Gosh, dude. I'm thinking these fish are better than there are. They're hitting them really hard. Um, just like that fish this morning that I broke off on. Got that tight, tight a little loose. Smaller one. This guy is full of energy. Oh, he just, he just broke my hook. He just broke my line. He has so much energy. Um, just hitting them hard and feel like, you know, like a, kind of like I'm hitting a brick wall as I'm striking, but they're just small, small guys like this. Um, anyway, still good. Still, still large mouth, so. Hey, but I'll tell you, man, just like I said, that's literally two fish in a span of five minutes because of this anchor right here. With that, without this anchor, I would be in those in those grass as weeds over there uh fight fighting with this wind there's another one. Oh, this one's stripping line gotta get him out of these weeds that might be a pickerel feeling like it definitely a pickerel Yep, it is a pickerel. So we can keep him down. Keep this line tight, guys, and he won't be able to break it. He's got some weeds on him, too. See if I can turn him around. Yes. Whoa. 
Uh, there's a pickle. Keep that line tight. Keep that line tight. I'll be fine. God, look at the teeth on these things. Oh, shit. Yes. Look at that, guys. Not as big as my other one. Oh, my God. Watch out for those teeth. Watch out for those teeth. Not as like big as my other one, but uh, still a pretty good size here. Take a look at this. First, first look at a chain pickerel. Nice size fish. Not as big. Not even close to as big as the other one I had um, right at the beginning, but good size fish. Check that out. Awesome size fish. I'm gonna get this hook out of him real fast, and we're gonna let him go. Another one. That's a bass. There you go. All seem to be about the same size. Small, you know, pound and a half, pound at most. Um, weren't as big as they were this morning, bass wise. There she goes. That was actually probably a male because of how small it was. Zoom baits, get them at Academy for a cheap price. And all I'm doing is after I'm casting that bait, literally counting to five, five to 10 seconds. Um, with some line out, all I'm doing is a little tap, tap, let it sink. Tap, 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 let it sink. Tap, let it sink. And um, basically that, every time you're tapping it, that uh, that fluke's fluttering, it's going like this, going back like that, going back like that, back like that. Um, these bit, these fish were really, really like, like that movement, um, representing injured shad, and just crunch it. Ah, missed them. It's hard when I'm casting, you know, 50 yards away with this wind, trying to set these hooks, set, trying to set these fish. Um, you gotta have that drag tight. Get that, get that hook through its lip. I mean, that was definitely a fish I just missed. There he is. Got him. Get him out of that weeds. Oh, did he just get out? Oh, God damn it. Damn it. That's what I'm saying. These fish are far away. Um, gotta get that hook through their lip. It's tough, it's tough. See, as I'm doing here, just moving another 20, 30 yards and um, just setting back out, fishing. Keep fishing new areas of body of water. It's a big lake, big lake like this. You gotta keep moving. You know, two to three casts. I mean, I'm catching fish every every time I'm moving. All right, guys, just got back to the house. Yaks in the back of the truck here. Um, we absolutely crushed them today. Morning bite and this afternoon bite. Two different ponds. Ice house in the morning. Um, then it started to heat up with the pilgrim in the afternoon. Absolutely slaughtered them. Awesome day today. That was the first full day of uh, freshwater fishing. We haven't done much saltwater fishing. As you know, we just got here, um, here for the whole summer, as well as the boat's not even here yet from Miami. Just, it's actually shipping tonight. So super excited about that. Probably hit up those two lakes tomorrow just cause they're so fire today. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that. Just give it a little tap tap. Um, that'd be awesome. And with that, we'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.